All right, is my hand shaking? No. We're recording. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Welcome to Coffee with Mason. Mukbang edition. Yep. Hope everybody had a good weekend. Did you have a good weekend? I mean, for what weekend I had, it was pretty good. How much weekend productive. did you have? Um, how long have we been awake? A day. An hour. I woke up at nine thirty this morning, so that was my weekend, and it is what six thirty now. So we are having turkey kielbasa and just kidney canned kidney beans with hot sauce in mine. Hot sauce in his and ketchup in mine. Mm -hmm. I'm a hot sauce kind of guy, mm -hmm. and diet soda. Now you're only supposed to have how many carbs a day? Hundred. One hundred. What's been the difficulty with counting carbs? Not knowing how much something has. Everything like, has carbs. Like when, when you think that uh, you're eating healthy by eating an apple, and then you realize that that apple has 26 grams of carbs, that's pretty tough to swallow. I mean, easy to swallow the apple, of course, but yeah. I went over, the day before yesterday, I went over on my carbs because I ate an apple, and then I had this counter on my phone and I put in apple for a snack and jumped up from 80 something to 104 carbs. So, yeah. He's having a hard time. I don't know what to cook. It's almost like a it's almost a keto diet or some we're sliding into a keto diet. Mhm. Mm because it's basically just meat, cheese and green vegetables. And is eggs. that how it is? And eggs. Yeah. Then I have to look for snacks. They're either low or no carb. Which we only found one. Mm -hmm. Even his sugar-free sugar wafers or whatever you call them. Yeah, sugar-free sugar, sugar wafers and the sugar-free candy got carbs in it. Mm -hmm. and sugar wafers were brutal. I quit eating those. I had no idea that hard candy had carbs in it. I didn't either. Wow. Learn something new every time you look at a label. That's, that's one thing it's got me doing is I don't put anything in the shopping cart. Uh, unless I read the label. Nothing at all. So that's that's a good thing. So mm. we're eating a lot more meat, which wasn't part of my plan. But we're also eating a lot of eggs. That was part of my plan. I love eggs. Yeah, you can make egg salad tonight. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Right. So we got the baby chickens out of the house. Hallelujah. Finally. All 15. Yeah, outside. I got it. I got up this morning. I was going to get up earlier than I got up, but I was up late last night watching a football game. So, instead of setting my alarm See this? for the early morning break of dawn, I set it for 9.30. So, I did get up at 9.30. You did get up. How are you? I work to do. I'm wearing my food. Snack for later? Mm, something. It happens. So... I want to say something real quick. We're not a political channel. We don't dive into politics. We don't discuss our political view on anything. But election day is coming up. And the country, I think it can bounce back from everything we've gone through. But we got to make sure that the right leaders are in the right spots and doing the right things. So... If you are registered to vote, get out and vote. Can you vote? Don't sit home. I'm on probation. He's Unfortunately, on probation. I cannot vote. But a year and a half from now, when I'm done with the probation, I will be voting. So just get out and vote. Let your voice be heard. If you don't go vote and you complain about the way the country is, you don't have a voice because you didn't vote. So go do that. Mm -hmm. Okay. What's been going on with me? I've been dizzy all day. <laughs> well, she's been the, doing this fasting diet. And one day she went 19 hours and some minutes between meals. I can't. I mean, I can't do that. I can't go 19 minutes in between meals sometimes. But she's been dizzy today. when She was out working um, harvesting walnuts. And uh, <clears throat> yeah, that's black walnut harvest dust. She's turning into a black walnut. But I really think that, and I told her this, I think that once her tank runs out of gas and there's no more gas to burn burn the, the motor, that's what's going to happen. 
She's going to get dizzy. She's going to get tired. She's going to get sleepy. Something. Yeah. So, we don't know. That's my opinion anyway. I'm no doctor. I'm mm. taking plenty of vitamins and I know... I know when... Of my blood sugar's only dropped a couple times, but I know exactly how it feels. So, it's mm -hmm. not that. Mm -hmm. That's not a good feeling. No. So, what we got planned for the upcoming week? Um... Supposed to be working a short week this week, five days. We got grandbabies. Oh yeah, grandbabies. I haven't seen my grandkids in a while. I asked her to uh, possibly schedule a sleepover Friday night since I'm not working Saturday, and she went. She gave me the silent answer, but she may have given me an option to go get them Saturday when I'm off for ice cream. I, th I think they might let us do that. We're thinking about it. Yeah. We'll figure it out. Uh-huh. What else you got going on? Did I not bring the Bible over here? Did you not? I did not. Keep talking. Where's it at? Mm -hmm. Over there. Huh? Over there somewhere. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So what I got y'all alone. Men. Then this is this is from experience I'm speaking. I'm gonna be real, real. Serious to the men right now. If there's anything in your life, anything, any secret at all, that you were trying to hide from your wife, get it out now. Doesn't matter how bad you think it is, how horrible you think it is, how painful it may be, get it out. Throw it on the table and... She will, might not be immediately. She will work through it. And the honesty, the openness, the transparency is essential for a healthy marriage. It is. The matter if it's from 20 years ago or 20 days ago. If you're holding the secret that you're hiding from your spouse, stop doing it. You'll benefit in the long run. Trust me. Trust me. Okay. Well, Back to the channel. That got serious. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Do you got a word? I do have a word. We're in the book of Psalms. I like Psalms. Psalms, chapter 69, verse number 30. I will praise the name of God with a song, and I will magnify him with thanksgiving. Nice. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I like it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. A lot of people out there are really struggling right now, and we're praying for our country, um, those that are jobless, homeless, hungry, and um, any suggestions, anyone else that needs prayer, we're happy to pray for you. Just let us know. We want to thank you for taking some time to um, spend a meal with us, mm -hmm. and we hope that... Y'all have a good week, and we'll talk at you soon. Thank God you. Bless you. Bye.